happens if we've lost it? Let's jump on the ground and let's have a look around. Seems like a pretty decent plan. HD graphics pack definitely did not load this time. Uh, make sure to have it for next time. I suppose we are in the overworld. Let's save. Game saved. immediately see a morph zone that we can't get in. <laughs> what are these? Tangleweed. Basic sentience. Retracts into ground if threatened. Tiny barbs to trap potential meals. I like the strength to do anything more than hinder the li larger life forms. There's something else in there too. Ah, missile expansion. Okay. If only we had missiles right now. Or morph ball. Okay. So immediately given a very rainy planet. Lichen with low levels of radiation. No matches found. Very glowy. Okay, where do I want to start? <laughs> questions, questions. Having never played it before, just pick a direction and go, I guess. See what there is to scan. Some spinies. What are they? Seedling. Spines can be ejected in self-defense. Well, it's hardly self-defense when they sh when they attack first. Okay. Clear away from me, thank you. No charge beam. <laughs> What's off this way? Of course. Impact crater. I'm assuming it's named for very obvious reasons, but let's go take a look, shall we? What's this? It is another pirate data entry. The team reports are in on an aged structure of alien design built on the surface. Contains projects a containment field, bars access to a prime source of energy within a deep crater. These powered by a number of strange Chozo artifacts. Some of these relics and studies have begun. The field could hinder future energy production operations in Talonfor. It should be dismantled as soon as possible. And destruction of Chozo stuff. Can we just touch it? Nope, apparently they just left a log out in the open. And that is a instant door. I'm assuming. Blast shield. Explosive weapons may damage it. So something like missiles perhaps?
Okay. So that's that room. Okay. I've never had to hit the start button before, so I haven't touched any of this. Do I want to play with reverse Y axis? I feel like it's almost a cop out. <laughs> Swap beam controls. I don't know what that means exactly, just in context of the controller I've got, so I'm gonna leave that off for now. Rumble on, reverse Y axis is set to on, and we'll see how we like that. I appreciate we can just <laughs> turn on and off stuff <laughs> if we need to. Power beam has the best rate of fire, and a C stick can be used to select the weapon. Oh wow, thank you, Samus. It can be used to open blue doors. How handy. So I've learned most about most of this stuff just by doing it. Okay. Okay, I think I might like this better. <laughs> Hold the direction that you want to look at, and then look at it. It seems so straightforward, yet <laughs> some people have grown up on the opposite kind of thinking, which is quite frankly weird to me. <laughs> Scan you. Oh, I almost had you. Are you gonna show up again? You are Beetle. Extremely aggressive. Tunnel for rocket high speeds. Cover short distances rapidly. Attack anything that moves near their lair. Oops. That's better. That's more like it. Okay. I was just gonna scan these mushrooms, but... Now I have to get used to inverted wire controls, because I've been running with them up until this point. Um, okay. Small iridescent mushroom grows in dank, dark regions. Excuse me. Anything about the local plants over here or no? Yes. Oh, it's a creature. It's a sapsack. Chemical reaction produces a violent explosion when agitated. So in other words, don't shoot at it. Don't shoot at it unless... Oh, actually they're incoming. Are they? I was gonna hope that I was gonna show a new area or something, but it didn't. Oh, there's something in there. What are you? Blast cap. Chemicals may explode if agitated. Poisonous flesh helps it keep from being eaten, and it detonates when it senses even slight contact. So in other words, we need a blow it up, right? Here you are. Ah, you're the gamer. Incoming scan data. Drone technology is present. 
active transport present. Okay. Wow, this gimmer is very resilient. Like, it's practically doing nothing. Okay, let's just ignore you then. Because <laughs> everyone else has seemed to be a, some kind of pushover up until now. Aside from some of the more lively pirates. <laughs> the door cannot be opened with that weapon. Well, it's not me that's firing it. <laughs> blood flower. Toxic spores. Poisonous even to the blood flower itself. Toxic fumes. Five minute radius. If they explode in this vicinity, it will kill it. Say something like that, I take it. Bit of a shame it didn't give me anything for that, not even some energy refill. Cause that hurt a bit. Another door. Okay, so not that way. But it does have energy, so... I was hoping for a bit more something dramatic, but... There is a pickup of some sort. Ah, large energy. Bridge structure. Well, I picked it up, only to get immediately swarmed on. Does anyone, anyone else want to have a go? <laughs> So this is the lift that they were talking about. Trezo Ruins West. Alright. Let's have a look. How's everyone doing by the way? All settled? Slightly less motion sick than when we started? I would assume so. But, you never know. Shall we get on with things? Rooms look cool. This is just the transport that takes us back. This is some interesting symbols actually. I don't think I've seen anything quite like it. In that, you know. Ma mainly the shows that have been depicted the way that I've seen it. They don't really make reference to any of the of our stuff, of their society. You can only learn so much from the games themselves. Like, look at that. That's some interesting stuff. Even though you don't really understand most of it. <laughs> I think, yeah, most of the 2D games don't really go into much depth. Okay. So this is a quite a desert type thing. We've got a location further down. What are you? Chozo Law. The script has been translated. What has it got to say? At the highest point of our city lies the fountain, a wellspring of pure water that flows throughout civil our civilization. 
It is the jewel of the Chozo, the life giver, and yet its waters speak of a clouded future. As we come to understand the path of time and space more clearly, we have begun to glimpse rough tatters of past and future, glittering behind reality like soft lights behind a curtain. We've seen a fountain in these glimpses, pouring darkness instead of water, and we cannot guess what those visions mean. I don't know, but that seems a bit on the nose. <laughs> like, I think it's quite obvious. Bit of a shame for the Chozo not to have noticed, really. Alright. Let's get going. While we're here. Okay, it's bright. There's lots of ruins. These are the Chozo ruins. And I think we have seen some of this. At least when I played Zero Mission, um, there was a place called Chozodia that was basically an addition to the original planet. Any, anything new? Yep, just likes to borrow it. But yeah, Chozodia was a new area that. Samus goes to. Um, spoiler alert for Zero Mission if you haven't already played it. Um, but yeah, Samus goes there, um, essentially as part of the new content, because, you know, Zero Mission is a bit better than the first Metroid in that regard. There's a, there's a little bit extra. I don't, I'm not sure if I'd call it good or Honestly, it's, it's just more. I guess more is the correct word to really describe what Zero Mission is. What are you? An immobile organism entirely composed of ocular tissue. And it can also fire lasers. Sensitive to light and will close shut if a bright flash ignites nearby. Okay, so I can get past this by shooting vaguely in their direction. Okay. So far so good. That looks like another Chozo text. Let's have another read. Um, okay. We're departing now after so many years in peaceful seclusion here on Talon 4. This place was a refuge for our spirits, a civilization built from the native materials bereft of the trappings of our technology. Linked to the land here, kindred to the planet and animals far away from the machines we had become so dependent on. And so we leave it now pristine a testament to the mortal forms we no longer need. We have drawn the veils of time and space aside and are withdrawing beyond the illusion. We will never forget this, the most sacred of our homes and will remain ever watchful. So this is this just implying that there's some kind of great transcendence or something? Because that's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> High concentrations of poison identified in tree leaves. And we have a safe station nearby. Cool. Okay, so it's just above us. Okay. So, up there. Um, okay. Easy done. Is it weird that Samus can't clamber? Like she does in the later 2D games? I don't know. Is that strange? I wonder if it was just a. Th it was probably a thing that was considered and then they decided never to do it. Also, we got flying things. You are. Oh, war wasps. Venomous stinger capable of shearing metal. Or oh, steel. Rarely strays from its hive unless it is pursuing an immediate threat. Attacks with no regard for its own survival. Fast working toxins can incapacitate most small organisms. Okay, save first. Explore later. <laughs> Okay, save our progress, and we can jump right back to it. Okay. 
Anything else? Okay, another creature. I'm assuming this is the hive part of it. Only vulnerable to heavy weaponry. In other words, I'm assuming missiles. I'm assuming that, yeah, that's, an that's another missile. What's this? The structural weakness in the sandstone block. Oh no. And the metal is stable. Only big metal could have made this game. <laughs> okay. That's very dismissive, but I assume more Samus's visors into more practical things. Why yes, this thing is decorative. Okay, come on. Give me give me a good angle of this. Okay, that's <laughs> Honestly, I don't, suppose, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, but that is very hilarious. <laughs> okay. Thanks for, thanks, thanks for pointing that out to me, game. I really appreciate the non-real-time reflections. <laughs> Anything about this room I should know? Ah. Talon Star? The word Chozo? <laughs> Organic rocks that are going to be eyes, but aren't yet. <laughs> Exploding scarabs? Man, there's so many things that really like to explode, don't they? They violently self-destruct when threatened. You mean like that? <laughs> Man, I really made a mess of things, didn't I? There was once a significant amount of water in this area. It's funny. It's like the scan visor suggests that there was water once present in this location, but environmentally speaking, there's not really much to say that there was water in here, aside from down here where these roots are. Um, so, when the area nearby flooded, there was a very distinct difference between where the water level was and how far I'd gotten up to. And yeah, there's just a very clearly defined line. I seem to, I seem to have been trapped by these bugs. <laughs> how very unfortunate. <laughs> okay. It's still around, I can hear it. There we are. Can't open that door. Can only open that door. I could go back to the start, but why would I? Let's take a look around. Something on the wall over there. Brinstone. Is that a real thing? Sandstone's real, but I don't know if brinstone is a real word or if that's just meant to be like... Is that just meant to be like a combination of Brinstar and stone. In other news, water is dangerous. Right. What are you? Plasmite. Capable of storing and releasing thermal energy. They attract as a source of heat for having an energy present there. They emit light when hiding and will expend small bursts of thro thermal energy when threatened. Excuse me. Why? There's just all kinds of tongue twisters in here. Okay, threat level's high. There's just a bunch of toxic water. Which is fine. Okay, here we have this chamber. What's this? A functional but worn bridge. Lots of toxins everywhere, and that thing's out of range. Okay. Moderate 
threat danger levels, according to this lovely threat graph. Inactive light mechanical device, but there's a life form detected within the hollows of the machine. That, 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 that's not great. It is now reacted to my presence. Man, you think if this was activated before the water got this level of toxic, it'd just be regular water. <laughs> It's a new creature! Okay, circles its prey and strikes. They have a true hive mind. They emerge in small groups and threaten that circle it at high speeds to sorry again. Striking from all sides at single intelligence, they can fell huge organisms. Well, I can, I'm having trouble turning around right now, so... Indeed, they'll be correct. really have anything else other than my power beam so I guess that's all I'm using. I'll use that radar and presumably not fall into the water. Okay let's do this sensibly and not die or we will just die. Sure why not. Okay. Okay rest in peace. Okay first death. I'll be honest, I wasn't really... I was probably on the wrong side of the stairs that was going to get me out of this. Probably. Shall we try that again? <laughs> I think it's a little bit of a trick, but... We could, we'll, we'll be able to manage. We'll be fine. I know Metroid MST. It is very shameful. I died to mosquitoes. Albeit, it's a hive mind mis uh, mosquitoes, but... <laughs> okay, I should have the step. First part's down. Machine again. Okay, take a group, clear them out. All right, what's that? It? It was it. Surprise, it's a missile launcher. <laughs> yep. Additional data is on the inventory screen. So let's have a look at that now, shall we? Missiles who have a lock on will seek their targets. They can also destroy objects made from radion or brimstone. There are charge combo enhancements scattered throughout the environment. They used a missile launcher and the charge beam in tandem to fire more effective blasts. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay. So, go take aim and just blow it over. And I'm guessing that's our reserve tank. There's a small tunnel back there. I see, our energy tank. Cool. Wouldn't it be great now to have morph? Unfortunately we don't, so no going that way. <laughs> 